Hi there, I'm back for another anatomy lesson. Today's topic is burns, okay? So don't forget, like and subscribe to get more content. Okay? Also comment if you have suggestions or ideas on what I should cover next. So let's get started. Full disclosure, some of the images in this lesson may be a little bit difficult to look at. So similar to the wounds lesson, some of this is a little hard. So just be prepared. What is a burn? Well, a burn is damage to the body tissue. It can range in severity from very minor to fatal. So what causes a burn? Well, heat, electricity, radiation, including UV radiation. I've had a few sunburns, I didn't know. Chemicals. Okay, so there are many things that can cause burns, okay? So the heat could be from something that is um, an object that you touch that's hot. It could be from fire. It could be from liquid that spills on you that's hot. What are the two main risks with burns? Well, dehydration, because there's loss of fluid and electrolytes. Your skin provides a waterproof barrier. You lose the waterproof barrier. You increase your risk of dehydration. And this can lead to shock. The second main risk is infection. So again, you lose the skin barrier and there is more of a chance that something that could cause infection can get inside your body. Okay. The next major topic about burns is the rule of nines. And the rule of nines is used to estimate the percent of skin burn. Why do we even need to do that? Well, it helps to calculate the amount of fluid that is needed um, to replace um, what was lost. It's a little bit different in children. You can see the percentage is um, higher um, in the head area, okay? And it is lower in the legs, okay? All right, so let's practice. So this is one way that you could do it. I'm gonna kind of go through these quickly. An adult trips and falls into a fire and burns the anterior left arm. Remember, anterior front surface, the left anterior face, and the left anterior thigh. So, what percent of the body is burned? Okay, so you would calculate it like this the anterior arm, the left anterior face, and the thigh. A child in a house fire and suffers great damage. The only parts of the body unaffected are the posterior torso and thigh. A child is in a house fire. Okay, that I shouldn't say. A child is in a house fire and suffers great damage. The only parts of the body unaffected are the posterior torso and posterior head. What percent of the body is burned? And here's how you would calculate it. Both arms, both legs, the genitals, the anterior head, and the anterior torso. So that is a huge percentage of the body. First degree burns. Damage to the epidermis only. There's red, it's painful, and there are no blisters. Okay, so first degree burn. This is common for me, but also if you quickly touch something that is hot. A second degree burn. Characteristics of those. There's damage to the epidermis and the upper dermis. It's red, it's swollen, it's painful, and key thing is there's blisters, okay? Which, um, since there is damage beyond the epidermis, there is danger of infection. So you see blistering, okay, that's going indi to indicate you're at a second degree burn. Now when we get to third degree burns, there's damage to all of the epidermis and dermis. So the whole thing, there's nerve damage. So it can be painless because of the damage to the nerves. It's often black, brown, or white burns. It is going to require skin grafting and fluid replacement. So here's where we're definitely gonna to need to be calculating based on the rule of nine. And it often includes painful first and second degree burns around the area. So it's not like the burn overall is painless and it can be potentially life-threatening. So third degree burns, far more serious. Again, the black, the brown, the white 
um, color indicates the severity. Fourth degree burns. The burn extends beyond the skin, so beyond the epidermis, beyond the dermis, beyond the hypodermis even, into muscle and bone. It's black and charred. Okay, so very serious fourth degree burns. Okay, so again, first, no blistering. Second, you see blisters. Third, we can be black, brown, or white. It extends into the dermis. And fourth is usually um, charred appearance, and it goes beyond all the layers of the skin into muscle and bone. Skin grafts. Well, what is it? It's a surgical procedure. It removes skin from one area of the body and moves it to a completely different area. All right. Typically, it's taken from um, the buttocks or the thigh area, and it's uh, used this sort of like mesh um, appliance here to make the skin have this appearance uh, so that we can cover a greater surface with less skin that we need. And there you have it. That's all about burns. Well, not everything, but everything that I'm going to tell you. So don't forget, like and subscribe, comments for any content you'd love for me to cover. All right, see you next time.